Be honest. Have you taken a photo of yourself wearing a brand new face mask? Or maybe you took a selfie holding some hand sanitizer, showing it off. Uh, well, you're not the only one. We'll tell you more about it coming up. Today is Wednesday. It is April 29th, and this is The Currents Music News. Hi, I'm Jade. And I'm Jay. Production Club is a company based in LA that usually applies its creativity to projects like making Skrillex shows really cool. So what are they doing now? Well, they have announced a new suit that's designed to protect wearers from catching or transmitting COVID-19 at concerts. Basically, it looks like a spacesuit you'd wear to a rave. The company calls this suit a micro shell and it promises that wearers can, quote, see clearly through a protective shield, breathe safely through a filtration system, drink, vape, have sex, and even charge their phone. It seems like a joke, but they've really thought this through. You can drink and vape through custom canisters, which the company points out also would eliminate lines at the bar. You can adjust your own sound system. There's a communication system so you can choose which friends you want to talk with through your little radio. You can even, when things really get pumping, you can adjust your voice so you can like auto-tune your conversation with your friends. Sorry, they're not for sale yet. The company says it's currently conducting a feasibility study. Jade, would you wear one of these? Does it like glow in the like? What does it look like? Can I dance in this? I know I can. I can vape, but can I like dance? Enjoy the concert? Oh yeah, and I know you have a history dancing in like character costumes in a previous yes. job. So yeah, <laughs> if you can dance in like a Charlie Brown costume, you can definitely dance in one of right these. Right up suits. my alley. All right, I'm I'm in a hundred percent. Well, all right, Jay. I want you to think back. Sort of right when the coronavirus news first broke, one of the first things we heard being canceled was South by Southwest. And then we heard news that they weren't going to give refunds and that they had fired a bunch of employees. And then we never really heard anything after that. And people have gotten really up in arms about other things since that that have canceled. I uh, think Ticketmaster refunds, all that sort of thing. So what's going on with the whole South by Southwest debacle? Uh, thanks for asking, because apparently there is a class action lawsuit now happening because they refuse to give a refund whatsoever. Uh, basically, South by Southwest said uh, you can exchange your tickets so you can go in 2021, 2022, 2023. Uh, you get a 50% discount on one additional year. Uh, but two ticket holders so far have decided to sue the festival, saying that this is basically a, a unilateral contract that South by Southwest has, where they sell credentials, they can cancel for no reason or any reason, and uh, pretty much don't have to pay the customer back. They don't have to give refunds, and that that's unfair. And so there is this class action lawsuit, but kind of the question is, would South by Southwest even be able to refund it? Would they be able to to pay the refunds? And, uh, you know, we were just talking about it, but they did, in fact, lay off a third of their 175 year-round employees, and there is no current insurance policy to cover these coronavirus pandemic-related uh, cancellations. So uh, we're really going to have to follow this story and see what ends up happening. Singer Harold Reed has died of kidney failure at age 80. He sang bass in the Statler Brothers. That was the country group best known for their 1965 top 10 hit, Flowers on the Wall. Flowers on the wall that don't bother me at all. Playing solitaire till dawn with the deck of 51. Yes, you may recognize that song from the 1994 movie Pulp Fiction. Quentin Tarantino gave the song new life and some dark associations when he picked it for that movie. The group weren't actually brothers, although Harold's brother Don was in the group. They had four country hits that went to number one, and they helped inspire later generations of pop country vocal groups. If you think about massive groups like Alabama and the Oak Ridge Boys, they were inspired by the Statler Brothers, and they had fans including Johnny Cash, who often invited the Statler Brothers to open for him. 
That's today's music news. We'll be back with another update, so like and follow us so you can catch that. Listen to The Current on your radio, on your smart speaker, on our app, or on our web stream, and click on the comments to let us know what music news stories are meaningful to you right now. All right, and we were asking for your selfies with you in the face mask, so feel free to share those. Uh, I want to see all your fashions. Uh, but there is uh, another genre of music that has really been embracing this uh, sanitary sort of uh, couture, and that would be hip-hop. According to a writer from New York Times, uh, he noticed that hip-hop videos have been featuring masks, gloves, cleaning supplies. This is like a new trend in the world of hip-hop, sort of showing off your sanitation swag, if you will. Uh, artists whose videos have been literally sanitized include the baby Brian Rich in French Montana, who shows off his private jet and his hazmat suit in the video for That's a Fact. That's a fact. Shot it. Foreigns out, Trump made it out the hump, hump. crisscross, jump, dagger, splat. Don't play that's a fact. She came through the front, front, we slid out the back. Don't play that's a fact. Chain drip, that's a fact. Gang with me, that's a fact. Play with me, that's a fact. Don't play that's a fact.